welcome to Basel, Switzerland. We're getting lost in all the little streets. We're not too sure how to get to where we're going. Look what we found. I don't think they're swimming. I think they're just floating down the river. Oh yeah, they're floating little. Cool. Can we go down the river? Should we go see what it's like down there? Yeah. Can we What's just... the best part to go on this side or the other side? What yeah, do you think? The other side. It looks like they're coming from the other side. No? Yeah, I think we get to go there. Right now we are on the Rhine River, so that's where Basel is. It's located right on the Rhine, and uh, this is so cool. Right behind me. Let me see. Do you see all the people that are swimming or floating in the water? So we figured it out. They all have these bags that are waterproof bags so they can put all their stuff in. And then they use them like as floaties and they just literally float down the river and they go with the current. So, so nice to do on a hot day. Today is 36 at least. So really nice activity to do. Hot. So we're going to go see if they maybe rent them so that we can just jump in that river and cool off at the same time. We definitely need something waterproof though because we've got all our stuff here. So um, so what are some of the cool things about Basel that we know? We do know it's an art uh, city, right Chloe? Yes, indeed. How many museums are there? 40 art museums. 40. There's yeah, a minimum of 40 art museums. Every year they have an art event um, it's called the Basel Art something. And uh, it's very well known around the world. There's uh, like 40,000 artists that sell their art and, and it goes in the millions, like I'm talking millions and millions. So there's hundreds of billionaires that come every year with private jets and uh, you know they play that game of buying and selling art and enjoy that luxury lifestyle of doing that. So um, that's what it's very well known for. It also has a lot of theater shows so you can come here to see like you know all the main Broadway shows like The Lion King or The Mies or all those uh, theaters. Um, what else? All the pharmaceutical companies are here. So you get a lot of the headquarters um, for the big pharmaceutical drug industry. Um, and it's just a really beautiful city. There's a lot of old buildings that are like very um, ancient from the medieval times and uh, really cool architecture to see. So there you go. That's Basel. There's a ferry boat. And um, what's cool about this Rhine ferry boat is it goes with the line. I'm not sure if you can see the line. Basically it holds the boat and it goes with the current. It just floats across the river like that, back and forth. So that's their ferry boat. Pretty cool. I'm just gonna show you this ferry boat. You can see it a little bit better because he has little flags on his uh, string. So that string spans across the river and basically they just use the current to pull them back and forth and back and forth to go from side to side. It's really cool. So we are looking for the spot that sells these bags, so we can get a waterproof bag. Angelique, Angelique's carrying a bag of bread for the ducks. ducks, and we haven't seen them yet, so we have to go find the ducks to feed them. But we didn't. So we're gonna go find the ducks to feed soon too. We're on the hunt we're on the for two things: down. water bags and ducks. It's not my case. I guess the highlight of what to do here is float down the river and it looks really nice and really refreshing. And, and you um, take these one bags and you can put whatever you want, your phones, your iPads, whoops! <laughs> and it basically makes it not like wet. Yeah, it just keeps it all dry. One, one area and you want to go to another area, you can just float down the river. I think yes, a waterproof like bag is probably a must have when you're traveling, right? Yes. Because then with that, no matter what condition anywhere. you're in, you can always put your stuff in there. And, you and then will... we can keep them if we do it again with someone else. Or you yeah. have to go or if you go paddling, or you go anything when you have it. That way so. it's like a flutie in case. Yeah. Show me what you guys got, girls. We got a fish. A fish? Yeah, the shape of the fish. And so tell me how it works. You put your stuff in it. Yeah. And you have to roll this down. To like very short. Seven times. Seven times. And, and then you lock it up with this and this and you like that. Yeah. So what the guy said, and what well not the guy, but the the sheet that comes with the bag, the instruction sheet says we decline all responsibility for your electronics. So I have my phone and I just pray that nothing's gonna happen to it. 
Should be fine though. Everybody else is doing it and I'm sure they all have cell phones in their waterproof bags too. Um, let's go a little bit further so we can really float down this river. That's real gold at, up at the top. Yeah. The tower. I think so. Something what you should do when you're in Bell is make sure you bring your bathing suit so then you can like go down the river like we did. Yes, so it's lots it, of fun. Because you go for a tour and then you're very hot, so then you want to jump in the river like everyone else. And it wasn't even that cold, was it? No. That's just, just right. It's just right. How many water fountains have we seen so far? A lot. A lot. There's another one right behind us that looks just like all the other ones, which is really cool. It must be like a signature thing for the Swiss German part of the country because we don't... I guess Lausanne had one like that, didn't it? Yeah, they did. So what we're about to show you right now is the old city gate. So this is really cool because it's really pretty. I'll turn around so you can get a preview of it. There you go. So it has like the old gate entry clock at the top of it. I don't know what the two towers it looks like. But let's go a little closer and we'll show you what it's like. Um, so here are the old city gates. <laughs> yeah, gates. You can see the old doors right there. I think it separates the old town and the new town. Yeah, it's remnants of what they used to have. It's really cool. Look up there. Let's see what it looks like. There's all these spikes on it. That's for the birds. So that the birds don't go. But yeah, this it's is it. It's from 1867. You see the date somewhere? 1867. That there, okay. In the 1800s. It's nice that they kept it here. It looks really, really pretty though. It looks like a castle tower.